Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare, and yeah, today this is going to be a skincare video. Out and out skincare video. Not a sunscreen video, sunscreens are my favorite when it comes to skincare, but moisturization, moisturizer, or anything that like boosts moisture in the skin is also my top priority. Um, so today we're going to be talking about two superstars, compare them, and recently one of them actually kind of like got super popular here on social media and I wanted to, yeah, talk about that as well. This is castor oil, 100% pure, pure castor oil. I got this on Amazon and the other contender is 100% Vaseline, pure that's uh, sorry 100% uh, white petrolatum skin protectant this is vaseline original healing jelly so it has no fragrance no color nothing it's just your regular vaseline so we are going to be comparing them both these two have seen me through thick and thin with respect to skin problems skin conditions for years so um i'm going to tell you which there is a clear winner to be honest um, between these two but so I'm gonna tell you how I've been using them both how I tried on my body and how each thing works on each part or for each every function I've tried so far and to give you guys like you know like you know like a uh, um, perspective but I do have a clear winner so you're gonna have to wait until the end uh, so let's start um with vaseline or for each function i think that's that's the best way to go about because uh both has uh plus and minus with respect to each function for for the way i've been using them and uh figuring things out and so on so yeah let's let, let's get right into it so let's start with hair like hair on the he head eyelashes eyebrows yeah so to be honest I have not tried Vaseline for any of the hair. <laughs> my hair, my actual hair on the head, eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows I have tried more like an aesthetic uh, to give that shiny, lush look. But during the night time for hair, I think castor oil wins in this aspect because I, um, it's a very, very viscous oil, very thick so you do not want to use this by itself even on the hair i usually put coconut oil and then as like a finishing touch to seal everything i put castor oil on my hair uh on the head that is and then this is a very vis very 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 thick viscous oil and look at that it's not a thin oil so i definitely go with uh coconut oil first because if i put castor oil on my hair straight away my hair gets tangled it's very sticky and it just actually it, it's a whole mess so i prefer this as like a finishing touch to uh put everything on the hair after after uh coconut oil but the only problem is because it is so thick it takes i would say like two washes to get everything out even with a, like a regular shampoo not even like herbal um in india they use like an herb called shikai uh sometimes i use that uh, i only use that when i do not oil my hair because shikai is like more uh natural so to, it's a little hard to take get the grease out of the hair but if i'm using castor oil in addition to coconut oil it takes like two washes to get all the oiliness out of the hair um but um if i only use coconut oil on my hair then just one wash is like more than enough so yeah it kind of it does weigh the hair down i have to say it's it's like i said it's a very very viscous oil so yeah my is so oily and i have glowy makeup as well i don't know how this is actually translating on camera but here in the um view that i'm seeing i'm look very oily but anyway so that's one thing and also um being viscous and being an oil it does travel for sure so when i put it on my lashes i take the very very least amount possible and i just like touch it 
that's it from the root and I, I honestly don't even go near the root when I take it to my lashes because it travel it is an oil although being viscous it doesn't stay put it does travel so I do not really take it to the root of my lashes I just touch the kind of like mid to my ends that is it I do take a liberal amount for the um, eyebrow and kind of like go back and forth I don't like just put it like in the direction of the eyebrow I even go back so I, it gets into the actual roots of the eyebrows and I have to say I don't know if it's an illusion or if it really works or not it definitely gives me a lush looking eyebrows and it looks full even in the morning when I like wake up it kind of looks full maybe it's that viscous uh, kind of like shiny see how shiny that is it kind of like coats the hair maybe um, I'm not sure if it really grows or not this is not a real experiment it's not a scientific experiment that I'm doing at home uh, but just like trial and just like things that appear to my naked eye to be honest that's it so maybe it just it coats because being a very shiny and very viscous uh, oil it's possible it's coating my uh, hair beautifully so it kind of looks really thick and really beautiful my eyebrows to be honest I don't even need uh, any makeup if you ask me but so yeah for the hair it's it's really good but Vaseline definitely falls short in the hair department so let's talk about face face uh, in the daytime and the nighttime I do use Vaseline uh, both in the daytime and nighttime I have to say the, the consistent I, I haven't shown you the consistency consistency I know it looks so thick and so a little scary but you do not need a whole lot at all this is a lot so I would if I'm using this in the daytime I would just take this much this is like half of what I put I still have so much left I don't want to put the whole thing I would put this much that that little for this big of this is like my cheek size right so of a surface area this is like the last step of my skincare before my sunscreen that is my sunscreen is my last step of the skincare this is like after my moisturizer I just put it in and that's what it looks like this itself could could substitute my moisturizer to be honest because that's how little I would use and it does not interfere with my makeup when I use it during the daytime it does not interfere with my makeup I love it a lot to be honest and also on the, on the nighttime it's not too too greasy the, uh, the castor oil does is greasy like I said it sticks and this absorbs into the skin more to be honest than the castor oil I have to say it, it, it absorbs more and uh, castor oil during the daytime here's the thing I have darker skin tone so it is a magnet for hyperpigmentation yeah so even a small bite small pimple small thing just like creates a big mark and spot on my face so we all know oil has a tendency to like attract heat and trap heat and retain heat we all we cook with oil right so uh, if I put that oil on my face during the daytime and head out in the Sun it kind of attracts heat and heat kind of feeds hyperpigmentation right you need to keep you can like uh, like if you burn your skin it like leaves a mark so like heat really like feeds the hyperpigmentation so that is not castor oil during the daytime and heading out is not a good idea if you ask me so I think that in that department it really falls short during daytime use it's not really good and yes you can use like the barest minimum on your face and still put makeup and stay indoors but it's very very easy to overdo with castor oil to be honest because it is a liquid and you can get a lot sometimes and once it's on it's hard to take off but this the Vaseline being like a cream you can kind of like move things around and move it uh, on your neck on your body yes you can move the castor oil too but during the daytime it can really get in the way of uh, the functionality aspect of it you know what I mean you need to be functional during the day and look good and not greasy today I do have Vaseline under my makeup under my sunscreen too I so I put uh, moisturizer serum moisturizer 
and then vaseline of this little like very 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 like the lightest layer of it you barely can see it and then i put sunscreen it did not interfere with anything it did not interfere with anything and my face looks really this not even like a smallest dark like a dry patch or anything it looks so moisturized and so glowy and so healthy i absolutely adore vaseline for daytime use with in conjunction with makeup it works really well with makeup you just don't need a whole lot to be honest so their vaseline scores a very 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 high point during the night time again the same routine right after my moisturizer i just put vaseline i kind of go liberal you really don't need a liberal amount i just put the same amount to be honest because over moisturization also can kind of cause something that looks like white heads i've done it with castor oil and it has cost me white heads so i had to like pull back for a few weeks or so no castor oil and then so when you pull back for the entire phase then other areas also gets impacted so you can like i said the downside of castor oil is you can overdo it because it's oil and it kind of more comes on your hand and sometimes it's hard so yeah and castor oil sits on the skin it does not absorb this maybe even sits on the skin i don't know but it doesn't feel like it it doesn't feel it feels a little bit like tacky but more like moisturizer tacky but this one is like super this is definitely more tackier castor oil is more tackier than vaseline and it does get it tends to kind of like uh get on things and everything so yeah and let's talk about putting it on my arms because i have kp on my arms acne and uh, hyperpigmentation from the acne there th th there was this one year when i did not take care of the kp at all i went out in the sun and the hyperpigmentation is insane on my arms i don't think it's going away because it's that dark so much it, it's it's not the acne itself but just a cluster of hyperpigmentation from the acne it's just sitting there here and there it's like insane but i do have kp as well new like acne coming in here and there but thing something that really makes it fl this also makes it flat to be honest but like i said after uh, putting i put tretinoin in moisturizer and then i put this so i this or i put retinoin moisturizer and vaseline on both my arms so for my kp so like i said castor oil it kind of sits on the skin i feel it because it just stays oily it stays greasy and it stays tacky uh, but i feel the vaseline kind of like blends into the skin and I have to say this also kind of made my cape the castor oil made my kp like smooth made my skin smoother i was I, I did absolutely observe that it did but not as smooth as vaseline i truly felt vaseline kind of really blended in and like kind of like absorbed more into the skin and i think all oils are like that they kind of like sit on top of the skin maybe it kind of like helps you a little bit but when it not as much as vaseline believe me i have tried so many oils argan oil rosehip oil every sea buckthorn oil a lot of them in you know how ordinary has so many of them i have tried every single one of them i haven't to be honest i haven't really the after effect is kind of not as fantastic as, as, as vaseline you can really see the difference with vaseline i mean I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie it kind of like doesn't sit on top of the skin the oils really do help i'm not gonna say they're like complete it's a humbug it's like no it's just for kind of like gives that visual satisfaction to us it's not that it yes in addition to the visual satisfaction it also like helps you a little bit but it doesn't turn around your skin not not like the way vaseline does to be honest not like that so we have covered kp um oh let's talk about lips we have talked about hair and like the skin and eyebrows and everything let's talk about lips lips yes um you can put uh lipstick 
and then put le on kind of put this on top during the daytime but let's be honest it's oil it travels those are like the biggest negatives to be honest with castor oil that's why the functionality during the day it's just not gonna work out uh, and again when you go out in the sun it traps or it traps the heat and lips are already doesn't have a, like a regular skin right it's the skin on the lip is even more thinner so it's more um, uh, open and more uh, vulnerable to sun damage so putting that castor oil on the lips is not a good idea when you go out not only that castor oil travels it doesn't stay put so it's just gonna move around and it can also get into your mouth not just outside it can also get into your mouth it's gonna kind of make you feel uncomfortable but this vaseline the biggest advantage of vaseline is it doesn't travel it just stays put you do not need a whole lot today i have a matte lipstick a completely matte like velvety matte lipstick but i had vaseline and kind of blotted the, my lips before putting my lipstick on so i don't have a ton of vaseline but i initially slathered my lips with vaseline but look at that it created like a very satin finish and it doesn't interfere with makeup because it doesn't travel it kind of like absorbs into the skin and you don't need a whole lot so vaseline so far is winning but i have to say when it comes to hair castor oil is like there because it has gives it lush lush like shiny look it really 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 looks uh i do feel a difference to be honest with my lashes and eyebrows when it comes to castor oil so we covered face daytime nighttime lips hair kp for the arms oh one last thing i always like my to moisturize my hand after uh i wash it and when i go to sleep especially but my hair stay my hand stays moisturized but you know near just under or just the skin near where my nail starts you see that do you see those those lines i did not realize that they were actually wrinkles because i've seen them my whole life you see those lines but my dermatologist told me on this hand it's not so much but on my right you can see um m my dermatologist looks at looked at it and she said your hands are dry i was like no really they're not dry she said oh you you see those lines they are those like uh aging lines you need to like moisturize them so i always put a thick moisturizer and then i put castor oil over it and i go to sleep in the morning my skin is soft because uh the, the castor oil is so viscous it kind of coats my hand and it stays soft but i have never seen a big difference in lines that line always stayed there that line always stayed there um but for a few days i switched from castor oil to vaseline have to say it wasn't that tacky and it didn't feel too slippery uh or anything like that but i did feel a difference especially on my left for some reason because maybe i'm not using my left all that much for moving and kind of like scratching or whatever uh so it just like stays put maybe and you can tell there are no lines and this uh on this finger this finger there are not a whole lot of lines at all maybe i should kind of like put some gloves on it and just like keep it like secure but I have to say I saw I'm seeing a distinct big difference with Vaseline than castor oil with my hands so my hands does feel softer no problems but those lines are quite stubborn they are just not going at all but I think uh, I'm gonna try more of Vaseline and I think it, it's I think it's gonna help to be honest so yeah those are my differences to be honest from trying out I have tried castor oil during the day under makeup and during the night i've tried vaseline for every purpose so i do feel vaseline is the winner here and um, because of it doesn't move it doesn't like it's not as viscous and um it kind of like absorbs more into the moisturizer 
and simply put it's both functional and it delivers moisture and it like locks that moisture in so it is kind of i would say the best of both worlds but uh it's there is no substitute for um the hair but you can always opt for coconut oil which is a thinner um you know um oil for your hair on the head because it's more easier to wash off as well and um and like i said putting castor oil straight on dry hair is would be a nightmare i've tried it and it's a nightmare so i kind of like put coconut oil first and then put this on and for um lashes and eyebrows i think you're gonna need castor oil i think you will see a difference too because it makes them look so long so luscious and so shiny my lashes and my eyebrows look so lush and thick and shiny and it's so healthy so when it comes to hair i think i think yeah if you if you, if you already have like a thick lashes uh beautiful eyebrows then i think just go with the vaseline but if you are maybe struggling in that area and you feel i want something more i think buy a castor oil and check it out uh, but yeah, for me, the clear winner is Vaseline. Vaseline is a winner and I will continue to use Vaseline, to be honest, the, the original one, the 100%, just the plain one with no fragrance, no tint whatsoever. So yeah, uh, that is my verdict. I What have you guys tried for extreme moisture to lock in moisture? Let me know down below in the comment section and I would love to hear. Bye.